Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to create uh, the new script for your counter in part 3 and uh, updated it for uh, the version um, after um, 8.85 and of course um, how to make the stars invisible and create a sound when you hit a target and your error. Um, yes, let's hello. <laughs> let's start. The first step is to create uh, the update for our script. You see maybe this um, tutorial uh, before. Uh, in this tutorial I uh, created a script. It's outdated so um, just to make sure you understand what I created. So um, this one right here is our number and we want to uh, use our count to set the value in this number. So when I hit so when I hit one of these stars uh, the uh, score goes up. But it works in Spark AR, but when I upload it, uh, it's way it's too old. So um, this number is a set uh, in a script, and that is uh, this one right here. So I created um, of my script a patch to and put the the value from the counter into the script script, and then. Uh, said in the script that I want uh, to put the value into a string to go to give it in this text right here. So set the uh, the string in my text um, text layer. And uh, this is a, the script. And we now we have to update the script. At first we start with the scene root and the patches get a scale of value. So uh, this is uh, the number of our um, text to D text and we create this find first. And we need to add this in outputs and get scalar. And now we wait just clean this one now you don't see any problems right here but also it doesn't count anymore so the information of our counter doesn't um, go to our text uh, layer so we create in this case an promise or and put uh, this one into it. We don't need uh, this information right here um, because our uh, this is like. Um, I'm sorry when I don't explain it pretty not so professional. Um, I'm not a programmer. I have to figure it out uh, by myself and don't have the right terms to explain it uh, very well, like a programmer or a developer or whatever. So um, I just can't uh, explain it in my own words and <laughs> that's it. But I will... Um, when you want to need when you need more information about this promise all uh, function i um put an other tutorial down below so that it explains it a little bit better promise all i have a typo here and uh, then um function results and open this one and put this right here 
And this is um, the function or this is the end result. We want that our counter, our number in this case, uh, and need the text of it. So this is this one right here. And we need uh, the store string, a score string. So this one, so just add the information of our score to text. And um, to make, we need new variables for that. So the variables are this information right here. So mm, variable counter equal whoops equal results and something i have to show and this one is the zero because um this information is just uh, in kind of numbers or taken with a number so number starts with a zero one two three and so on and so on and we don't do that and another variable one and we now need to end this So we have uh, the information result one. So um, the number uh, we're searching for the text and it's equal to our um, score or score right here um, and the string of it. So let's test this one. And we have a course. Um, this one is also not correct. Need to clear that. I really hate when it oops it doesn't doesn't disappear and it looks perfect and it works. So make sure you have <laughs> no typos and that make maybe a screenshot of uh, this script for to make sure you really use uh, this script right here and uh, make the counter counts. Okay, the script is updated. Now we want to create, um, when I hit one of the stars, uh, the star disappear. And um, we need for that our score. We start with our score zero, the game elements. These are our game elements. You find the whole part two file in the script down below, uh, in the description down below, sorry. So it's easier to see this, the scores. I just want to make the rest um, visible. This is score, no, want to add this one. And um, to make sure um, there's no interruption from the arrows, I just disconnect the arrows right here. So we have the information uh, before, uh, Easiest start is we want just a switch for that. And we create it turn off. Now we need the visibility from our score zero. And let's start this. Okay. Just to show you that it works. Visibility is off. And when I hit uh, the score, it in this case um, disappear or appear. So 
but I just want to make sure when I hit the visibility turn off. Now we need the information for um, that the star that the star disappear uh, appear when uh, the um, animation loop when the animation loop begins again. So we need the information of our y value equal value. So create a value and we need this information. I just make sure it's an easy number. So <laughs> easy number. Um, this information. And put this one right here. So when I go this disappear, but it doesn't appear again. Okay, tolerance 50. Disappear, appear again. Make sure we create tolerance. And disappear. And when I start the game again, it's un invisible in the first round or first loop and then appear. And what I just do is uh, to create a new screen screen tab you just also can um, use this screen tab from here but it's far away you'll make the switch so I'm gonna start again yeah okay so uh, you just simply created uh, the information that when um, the value, so the um, y value is 434. Um, uh, so this is equal. Um, then the visibility, turn the visibility on. And um, when the score equal hits um, x and y, hits from um, our emoji and our score, the score zero disappear. And to make sure you see uh, the score in the first animation loop, make sure you create the screen tab right here uh, at, uh, to flip. So when you don't do that, then the score we don't see the score in the first loop, just in the sec uh, second loop. So make sure you create this one. And uh, that look, looks pretty, yeah. It's, it's a lot. So regroup this. Uh, visible zero and what I want to create now is uh, this one for the second and the sh third score okay now I created for every single score the visibility uh, just restart this 
and it really works for every target right now and just follow the instruction for the first one and create the same i just group it right here uh, for the other ones and now we want attach the information for our errors again because now we create the sound yep restart make sure that the game is complete again and yes it is working again now we want to create when I um, when the emoji hits a target it come uh, it pings and when um, it hits an error too so uh, before I start with the patch editor I just want to show you how um, I created uh, the sound because um, it's not so simple you need um, a right format for your sound so you can upload it or put it in the assets right here and in this case I just used audition and I found some sounds uh, in the YouTube library in this case um, computer sounds and add this one this to uh, my project these are my sounds uh, this is my sound that I want to use for uh, the error export this one and for the export um, you need to create an mono type in 60 bits and this one is okay I guess I think you need to create the MA4 yes um, I call this error sound really test it okay yeah whatever okay put our your sound into uh, the assets so you see this is the um, last sound that I created <coughs> And um, you see the other formats like MP3 uh, are not working, just the M4A format, I at least two into my scene, uh, into my assets. And create two uh, speaker, one for the error sound and one for the score sound, just duplicate this one. This is error and this one is um, score. And we at first we start with the error sound and you put um, the sound when the switch goes, um, there's a reaction or a pulse to the switch, not before because when you uh, put um, the uh, sound uh, into the pulse or link with the pulse uh, you hear, hear the error sound every time when you see uh, the last screen but uh, one of uh, the errors hits um, my emoji so make sure uh, you create a control single control um, after or with or link it with a switch and then you create per um, and patch from your error sound to 
go to uh, audio audio player and link it right here and you need of course an output and this is our output go to audio right here perfect and now the same with the um, score here you can't link it with the score directly so you use the pulse for that so every time when the pulse so when you hit a, a star or a target you want you hear uh, the other sound the score sound go to like a yeah, single as a control audio player and put the score sound right here and for the speaker as output okay let's test it And uh, yes, it's working. So there's no um, score sound uh, when you see uh, the game over screen. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it uh, like every time. And thank you so much for your cool, great um, ideas. Uh, that really helps me to make uh, part three, what you want to see in part three. Maybe you have uh, ideas for part uh, four. I uh, don't know, please let me know. And if you have any question about this tutorial or other tutorials or inspiration for new tutorials, please uh, leave me a comment down below or send me a uh, DM via Instagram at Kino Design. I, uh, uh, like I said before, I really appreciate it uh, that you watch this tutorial and uh, leave a thumbs up when you like this tutorial and of course um, um, share it with your friends who want to see this and yes uh, enjoy the process um, bye bye